For you formed my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, and I know this very well. Amen. <laughs> hello guys and welcome back to my channel if your hair is not growing you've been at the same length for years and years then this is the video for you i'm going to be showing you my most updated start to finish routine to optimize hair growth so jumping right into the video, I'm going to be completely saturating my hair with water. Just a bit of background, I have extremely low porosity hair, so this does take a while. The first step in every hair growth routine is water, because Afro hair is one of the driest on the planet, and we need water to really make sure our hair is a lot more manageable. I'm then going to go in with my favourite shampoo, and it's the kind of shampoo you want to work into the entirety of your hair, because it really is infused with amazing Ayurvedic herbs that really help to stimulate, strengthen your hair. So I've really worked that in, especially of course on my scalp, using my scalp massager to ensure that I'm removing all product buildup. You want to make sure you're starting off on really clean hair. I'm just showing you the kind of hair that came. And as you can tell, I have a lot of hair. So you want to be definitely working in sections, guys, because you really want to make sure that every single part of your hair is thoroughly cleansed. What you do not want is product buildup because if you get product buildup, it actually prevents your hair from being moisturized. So avoid that. I love this shampoo so much, so I can go in two to three times and my hair doesn't feel completely stripped. It still has a moisturized feeling to it, but it's cleansed. So I love this shampoo for that. It really cleanses without making your hair feel really, really, really dry. And of course, it's got such great ingredients, which I think every shampoo should have. So that's my hair, which is completely cleansed. And as you can see, it's completely transformed. I'm then gonna go in with my Tangle Slayer. It does have a bit of dye on it, so please excuse the label. Next part of this routine is to detangle with care. If you didn't know already, a lot of breakage that comes with natural hair is through our own, you know, our own hands. And one of the ways I like to minimize breakage and really retain a lot of length is not by using a comb like that, it's honestly to start with your fingers. Your fingers are the most effective tool when it comes to detangling your hair. All a comb or brush will do is quite literally like rip your hair out. So I definitely advise if you are going natural to really finger detangle. Yes, it does take a bit longer, but you will retain so much more length. So if you have been at the same length for years and years, it could be just a thing of switching out how you detangle your hair. So the way in which I like to detangle my hair is within small sections. I will work with hair that is soaked in water and covered in conditioner. And then I will just work my fingers through just separating my hair gently to remove any knots and if there is any knot beyond repair I will definitely go in with a pair of hair scissors I'm not afraid to cut any single stranded knots or just knots that just won't be removed by my fingers I've got no issue with that because what you don't want is to create breakage when you try to force a comb through I'm then going to go in with a comb and for me the real purpose of a comb or a brush is just to remove shed hair if you didn't know already hair actually sheds about a hundred strands a day and if you haven't combed or brushed your hair in about I don't know two to three weeks you're gonna see a lot of shed hair that comes out so for me I like to start off with finger detangling and then using a comb but the comb is not really to detangle it's mainly to just remove the shed hair build up that I just don't want creating more tangles so once I've done that I'm gonna rinse through and put in some deep conditioner and again I'm working in sections whenever you're applying product to your hair you really want to make sure you're working in sections because then you won't have any dry patches so that's that I actually deep conditioned quicker than I normally would because quite frankly I just didn't have the time and sometimes in life you just don't have the time to sit under a dryer you know I'm a mum so yeah this is how my hair is looking after deep conditioning and all that good stuff my hair is completely revitalized and it's looking pretty pretty black 
I did dye my hair recently actually black um, just to make it look more vibrant and as you can see it's definitely paying off. So when it comes to moisture, I like to moisturize on a three set routine. I deep conditioned, which you just saw, and then I'm now going in with my leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna be going in in sections again, just to make sure that each and every part of my hair is coated. And then I'm gonna go in with some oil to seal that because you wanna make sure that that leave-in conditioner is not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna evaporate. Definitely follow up any leave-ins with an oil. And as you can see, I'm just working that through my hair. All these products, by the way, will be listed in the, in the description bar. And they really are really good and slippery, so you won't encounter any breakage. And so I'm just going to go in with some oil again. Work that through, work that through. And I'm just showing you a single stranded knot that I encountered. And I wasn't afraid to just cut it cut it and oh yeah I wanted to show you guys how much hair I lost in the shower do not be alarmed okay because that's normal for me I you know at this point I don't think I washed my hair for about a month so that's a month's worth of shed hair and then I'm going to be preparing myself for my protective style I'm just going to be doing a sleek ponytail so I applied my leave-in applied some oil and then I'm going to do a slick down ponytail with some eco styler gel I've had this tough for so many years because it's so huge. So until it runs out, I haven't really looked for any alternatives. But right now I'm just kind of slicking my hair down. And then I'm gonna go in with my extra strength hair growth potion, especially for my edges. Because this kind of hairstyle, you don't want it to go, you know, against you. So I do make sure I top up my edges with that. And then I'm as I've obviously put my hair in a ponytail, I'm gonna be doing two braids in that ponytail. But before I did that, I did apply a bit more hair strengthening oil. So with this protective style, it's super easy. You can do it on the first day you wash your hair and it really does prevent tangles and knots and all that stuff that causes further breakage. So I really do love this hairstyle for that. And as you can see, I'm just making sure it's sleek. So. I put my hair in a pony, did the braids, but I'm just gonna take it out and then slick it again and put the um, ponytail holder. And I put these little bobbles just to give my hair a bit more weight so it would kind of dry like heavy, if that makes sense. I'm then gonna slick my edges. And yeah, I really love this style because you can do it in one day, like the same day you wash your hair. It also prevents you from getting lots and tangles. And I'm just gonna sleep with a satin hair. Oh, sorry, I forgot this actually. I apply a bit of this ORS spray just to, you know, give you, give me a little bit more, you know, va va voom. And yeah, gonna put my headscarf on. Good morning, guys. So this is actually the day after. I slept in the headscarf overnight, but it did kind of fall off. So my hair is not laying as flat as I would have liked it to be, but this is how my hair is looking. My hair is still like a little bit damp, but it will dry as the days go by. And I'm just gonna show you guys what I do to kind of maintain this super cute look. It's really easy, convenient. If you have somewhere to be on your same on this on the same day you wash your hair, then this is the look for you. It's a great protective style, and honestly, doing this like once a week or every one and a half to two weeks. It saves you so much time because when you go to detangle your hair after this, so when you go and wash your hair after this, your hair will literally have like no tangles, so you have less chance of breakage. And it just, this is honestly the easiest protective stuff. But I'll show you how I maintain it. I don't like to lay my edges every single day because that can be quite damaging. So I kind of like will forego this look after a while. If I have like a special occasion or whatever, then of course I will lay them. But in a week, I would say maximum. Like once in a week is more than enough because you don't want to be putting too much harm or stress on your edges. But yeah, this is me. Sorry, I have a morning face. The girl's got bags, all that kind of stuff. So you guys, I know you'd be kind, but yeah, this is how my hair is looking and I'm really pleased with the way it came out. And I'll kind of show you what I do to maintain it and all that good stuff. So I'll catch you guys soon. Hey family, so it's actually the following day and I've just come out of the shower and I just wanted to show you guys what my hair is looking like. Honestly, my hairband fell off somewhere, I don't even know where. And I just wanna normalize, okay? Not having super sick hair every single day. Like, in reality, no one walks around with hair that's like looking amazing all the time. Like, I'm literally just chilling at home. So, no, honestly, if I was going somewhere, of course, let me fix this. Okay, that's better. Yeah, so as I always say, if I was actually going somewhere, then perhaps I would like, 
stick my hair down and try to look like super cute but in reality the girls at home so this is how my hair is looking for the most part my hair is still like laying flat but of course like I've had a shower and I'm the kind of person where when I'm washing my face like I need to like wash my entire face like I can't be leaving my hairline so that's why it, all the gel would have just been removed which is fine like I really don't mind what I'm going to be doing is just applying my hair growth lotion, the extra strength version to my edges and I'm just going to keep it moving like sometimes just look normal like I have nowhere special to go my edges don't need to be super laid all the time so I'm just going to apply some oil and I'm going to be good to go oh I don't know if I mentioned like the way in which I slept with my hair is I loosened the ponytail hence why it fell off and then I use my headscarf and then put on a bonnet as well um, to sleep and that's literally all I do. I just make sure to loosen the ponytail because I don't want to have a headache in the morning. So yeah, that's all I do. So for maintenance, like today for example, I'm literally doing nothing. This is why I love this hairstyle because if I did like want to pop up really quickly, I can just put a hairband on and I'm looking completely fine. And if I want to just like look decent then for example tomorrow I'm going to go to church so I'm probably going to like slick my hair down a little bit more it doesn't need to be crazy because what you don't want to do is to be slicking down your edges every single day that can be really bad really 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 bad and then you'll be here you know saying you need some hair lotion but jokes aside don't slick your hair down every single day that's literally a recipe for disaster I've been there and it's just not cute like when your hairline is just receding because of you know the slicking of edges like it cannot be an everyday process process it's really not good for your hairline so with that being said i would probably do it in a week maybe like two maximum three times but maybe like two times if that majority of the time i don't really slick slick what i will do is i will just apply gel like in general and i will kind of not use the comb to like slick my hair if that makes sense so if you still want your hair to look manageable what you can do is literally just apply some gel but not focus on your edges so yeah I've been rambling a lot but at this day I'm really not doing anything hopefully I can show you guys what my hair looks like tomorrow my hair is actually not 100% dry to be honest but I feel like these are helping my hair to not like dry in a weird way if that makes sense like it's drying and it's like weighted because like it's like a lot more free and just looking a bit more decent but yeah because I'm at home honestly when I'm at home I know my husband hates it but if I'm going to be like laying on a couch, for example, I always need to have a headscarf. So quite literally, I put some oil on and this is going to be me. Literally. If you're obviously not laying down on anything, then it's not really necessary. But if you are, like I am, I'm having a chill day. So this is going to be me until tomorrow. I'll just sleep with my bonnet on and I also sleep in a silk pillowcase as well. So yeah, that's going to be me. Super cute no manipulation and i just love the fact that when it comes to wash day there's literally like no tangles and your wash day is so much quicker and easier and much more manageable you have less breakage and it's just the best thing so yeah i haven't talked too much so like, i will see you guys tomorrow Bye. hey guys so this is actually the following day and i'm just going to speed through all of these clips i'm going to be showing you what i do to my hair on a daily slash every other day or when i have something to do so all I'm really doing is using the same products I did to do the style. I used some Eco Styler, some water first, Eco Styler gel. I slicked my edges with a bit of a, you know, with a comb. And then I used the Fix It um, Hold ORS spray just to kind of lock that whole style in place. And then I used this head scarf and you guys will see the results. And I pretty much do this um, only if I have somewhere really to go. If I don't have anywhere else to go. I will not do this at all um, and I will just put some extra strength hair growth potion and you guys will see that shortly. But these are the results. This hair really does last quite a while and helps you just to look put together. And this is, I think, maybe two, maybe three days after. All I really did was put some hair growth potion and kept it moving. I don't need to, you know, slick my edges down every day, as I said. And this is a few days after again and and this day i think i actually had somewhere to go so i did go ahead and lay my edges um a little bit but not too much
is another day as you can tell i do almost the same thing um depending on whether, whether i have somewhere to go or not if i don't have anywhere else to go i will just spritz a bit of water and put some extra strength hair growth potion if i do have somewhere to go then i will just put some the same extra strength hair growth potion and then some gel but this day i did notice that my braids were looking a bit funky so i did go and redo them and yeah i just kind of kept it like this but i wanted the braids to just look a bit more better because they were looking a bit rough i can't lie to you so i redid those and i put the bobbles at the end again and i think this is the last one so thank you so much for watching guys and i did wash my hair after about one and a half to two weeks and yeah this is how my hair was still looking so i love this style because it's really cute and low manipulation.